Armed at the loading dock, swinging a two by four at employees. Now at 10, a brazen attack at a local grocery store. And tonight, police tell us this wasn't this suspect's first violent outburst. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. The news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in series getting answers on just how recently the suspect, Laura, was released from jail in a different case. That's right. First, it was brass knuckles in a quiet neighborhood, and then it was that two by four here at this loading dock in Save Mart. A series man terrorizing his own community, and neighbors are concerned he'll strike again. A terrifying attack at Save Mart just minutes after opening. Series police say Lucas Lee tried to steal a delivery truck parked at the store's loading dock Monday, and when a worker tried to stop him, Lee attacked. Swinging a two by four with nails at it. Officers say he then chased the worker inside the grocery store, where he continued swinging the makeshift weapon, injuring one customer before turning on police. Lee was finally arrested after a canine stopped him in his tracks. You don't normally see that in real life. Serious police are familiar with the 26-year-old. Just days before, he was arrested blocks away on Casa Verde Drive, charged with a felony, according to Stanislaus County court documents, for possessing metal knuckles. I have two kids, and yeah, it's concerning. The Save Mart attack leaving Lee with another felony, this time assault with a deadly weapon. It's frustrating the fact that uh, he's back out and doing the same thing again. What I'm disturbed about is to find out it's the same guy that did this issue at the safe mark around the corner. Those are the questions we still need to ask. We did ask those questions, getting answers from the Stanislaus County District Attorney's Office for why Lee was released the first time. They tell CBS 13 with no violent history, the judge is more likely to grant him bail. I mean, it is kind of frustrating and irritating that you can't even like go to the store in peace. They should have just kept him locked up. Lee was booked at the Stanislaus County Jail. The police officer we spoke to says, of course, they'll continue to respond to 911 calls in emergencies, but to arrest the same person multiple times is frustrating for them. They're hoping it won't happen again.